Where, oh where, has Julie Shapiro gone? The latest from our daily newsletter at podnews.net. We'll tell you where Julie's gone in a little bit. In our people section first, Chinese podcast company Jimalaya has pushed back the launch of its planned IPO in Hong Kong. They were seeking $100 million, but Bloomberg reports market volatility is to blame. A little tweak to the Apple podcast page about video podcasts has been noted. They say that they support up to 4K video, but 1080p is recommended to provide a high-quality viewing experience without requiring significant device storage or data. And we promised we'd remind you of Apple's email, which they sent a couple of weeks ago on June the 25th. That's tomorrow, starting at 6 a.m. Pacific time. Apple Podcast Connects will be unavailable for up to three hours. They said, make sure you complete any critical deliveries or changes before this date and time. Podcast Movement is running a study of podcast listeners. If that's you, we'll link to the survey today from our show notes and our newsletter at podnews.net. It'll take two minutes. Results will be presented in August. Diverse podcast startup Jamit has been selected to be a participant in the Replit Ventures program based in San Francisco and Nigeria. The founders are Ike Orizu and Stanley Agbadugo. Cinedime has announced new shows for its podcast network, which has reached 50 million downloads. Podcast One has announced 14 additional shows. YR Media and Critical Frequency are partnering for a new season of Inherited. Kate Mara is to star in a supernatural audio drama called Necropolis from podcast studio Echoverse. No release date was given, though. And Sound Talent Media's partnership with Evergreen Podcasts has expanded with three new shows, 3 a.m. Scary Stories, music show One, Two, Me, You, and a show exploring bands who had only one big song called One Hit Thunder. And in an email, Radio Public says it's updating its privacy policy to accurately note that the service is now owned by Acast. On March the 11th, it quietly restored the earlier privacy policy after we reported that they'd deleted it. On June the 14th, the company amended Radio Public's website after we noticed it was misleadingly claiming that it still had public benefit corporation status. Radio Public has sent unsolicited commercial email on behalf of Acast. Emails now fixed after we noted some were non-compliant. Radio Public's original policy stated it would notify users beforehand if the company was merged or taken over by another, but that promise wasn't kept. Now, we want to keep the industry honest, even when sometimes we wish we didn't have to. You can support our independent journalism in a number of ways. Find out more at podnews.net slash support. Julie Shapiro is to leave Radiotopia and PRX and join UK-based podcast production company Novel. She's been with PRX since 2015, during which time she helped launch the multi-award winning Ear Hustle. She also spent time at the Australian ABC's national radio station RN and co-founded the Third Coast International Audio Festival. And in podcast news, the last episode of Reply All, at least as we know it, is now out and has been reviewed. Though some could argue the last episode as we know it was in March last year. Anyway, it features 20 minutes with the mysterious musician Breakmaster Cylinder and finishes with a thank you from Alex Goldman. And a huge thank you to everyone who's listened. I'm going to miss it, and I think the rest of us are too. Take care. Football Ramble celebrated its 15th anniversary this week with a two-part special looking back at the biggest moments of the show. With more than 2,000 episodes, the sports show has had 145 million downloads so far and reaches 1.75 million listeners a month. En O Trouble claims it's the first cold case investigative podcast on Spotify France. It covers a mysterious sinking in the English Channel, which some believe wasn't just an accident. Emile Denetra and Adele Humbert from Insider Podcast investigate the case and discover espionage. NATO military exercises are more to the story that meets the eye. It is, of course, in French, and it means in troubled water. A new series of spectacle True Crime from Neon Hum has launched today, a 12-part series hosted by Mariah Smith. It explores our obsession with true crime. You can subscribe on Apple Podcasts to get the show ad-free. And the second season of Play Next launched this week, a music discovery podcast that uncovers pioneering, innovative and groundbreaking new music presented by Edith Bowman. And that's the latest from our newsletter. To read all the stories and subscribe, we're at podnews.net. 